Come on, Tricey! You can do it! Oh! Oh, right into the nuts of the king! Oh, the king's got you, though! Wait! Wait! <laughs> How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and welcome back to another episode of Beast Battle Simulator. So let's waste no time, get right back into it, and do some more challenges today, because they look actually really fun. Uh, if you missed the last episode, we did about half of them in the game. There's still 15 left, so hopefully we can do the majority of these today, and they look really, really fun. Especially this violent, violent hippo, so I'm curious about that one. But right now, we got Dino Prey's Revenge. These herbivores are fed up with being eaten. It's time for revenge. So it sounds like we're the herbivores as well, because these are obviously predators. So, uh, this is gonna be fun, trying to combat predators with herbivores that's uh that's never an easy feat but we do got some really good predators in here some of my favorite units uh club tail of course so yeah let's uh for the raptors definitely want to address club tails with them because we should be able to swipe them right out the t-rex though that's going to be a difficult one triceratops is always good against t-rexes in movies i gotta assume in this game as well so we're gonna do two triceratops there and what do we want for these blokes over here how about Staggy? You know, you can't go wrong with good old Staggy, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna do some Staggies over here. Now, I guess we don't really have enough money for too much gear, so you know what? I'm gonna put, uh, uh some mini guns. Do I have, okay, do I have 300? How much? Okay, these are 200 each, so let's do two flamethrowers, and then we'll do one flamethrower on the Staggy over here, because we gotta address or do some more damage against the T-Rex, because he could take us all out. Uh, with relative ease. So here we go. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. Those raptors were made into meat really, really quickly. We've got some glitching going on. The T-Rex is down. Oh my god, everything's happening so quickly. Did I win? Holy crap. Okay, so no, there's still these guys left. There's a lot of these guys left. My god! Look at the Triceratops going crazy. It's not looking good for me right now. I think the Predators got it. Yeah, look at him trying to chomp me, and he was successful in chomping me in half. That was a really close fight, though, as you can see. Uh, I actually... Is there anybody alive? I think this guy here might still be alive. So he had one guy left, so I'm feeling like I don't want to change too much because that obviously went really well. All right, but let's get one Staggy gone and one Clubtail gone, and is that enough? Okay, we only got 800 bucks. God damn it. I thought that was more money. All right, we'll get rid of two, and you know what? Let's move this guy because I want him kind of on the side over here. Uh, so we got 1,800 left. Let's do a Brachiosaurus in the back. This is going to be the guy that has lots of HP, so we want to get some gear on him, though. Uh, what should I put? Laser? Yeah, I feel like that will be good. Mind you, it's not like it's going to be accurate, but let's just try that. And we got 200 left, so let's do a flamethrower on uh, good old Staggy over here. That should be good. Now, we got a lot less units this time, so I don't know how this is going to go. But my god, we took out those raptors really quickly. The T-Rex is still up. Got to address that. He's on fire, though. Brachiosaurus is losing his legs. Brachiosaurus, oh god, I feel so bad. <laughs> Look at him. No, Brachy. You died. Everyone died. It's all sad. Rest in peace, guys. Wow, that went way worse, though. So I'm thinking smaller dinosaurs is the answer, especially with herbivores. That makes sense. You know, strength in numbers once again. Predators are scary. They're stronger. Let's do little guys. So, you know what? Staggies for days, dude. Staggies for days. Why not? And let's throw some shotguns on these guys. So, we got a couple of shotguns. I feel like this is going to be actually really good. I might... I should have spread them out into two waves, though, because they're going to hit each other. So, we might want to do that later. Oh, we got to get the T-Rex's legs, though, and that's not going to be easy with these guys. But there is a lot of them. Uh, not many are still alive, though. Okay, these guys... Oh, wow. He actually took them down. This guy's still got a shotgun. What's going on right now? T-Rex is down. What do we got left? Just this guy down underneath the other guy? Yes, it looks like it. Holy crap, we did it. Staggies once again. MVP. Gotta love him. All right, a little bit of a struggle there, but uh, nothing we couldn't deal with. So next up is Violent Violent Hippos. Four hungry Violent Hippos have surrounded you. Don't let them eat you. I, we, 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 this should be a rule that we're just balls in this game because, you know, gotta love a good game of Hungry Hungry Hippos. I love how it's laid out just like the game as well. All right, so we got 2,000 bucks. Uh, we got everything this time. So what will be good against a hippo? 
Giraffes probably aren't the normal answer to this, but I feel like, you know, hippos, giraffes, same kind of area. I, th I think it'd be fun to try. So we got 1,500 left, so let's gear these guys out because we are fighting some overpowered hippos here. I don't even know how this cannon's gonna work. It's gonna blow my head off because my head's so tall. Uh, let's try it, though. Actually, that's all my money right there. So let's watch these cannons. Yeah, that... <laughs> that, that, that worked great. Okay, this is gonna go so well. Perfect strategy. They're all dead already. So if you're ever trying to kill giraffes really, really quickly, mount cannons on the back of them because that is the stupidest idea ever. I didn't expect it not to work though. I mean, at least mount it on the side of them or something. All right, what haven't we tried? You know what? We haven't really tried gorillas and that was the hardest unit to deal with. So they're so cheap. Let's just go with a gorilla war here. So we'll kind of spread these out into two groups. And I want about a thousand bucks left for gear. Flamethrowers will be good on these guys uh, because they are low to the ground. And let's throw one over here. So uh, not the best layout, but it should be good. Here we go. Oh, I feel like, I don't know. These gorillas. Oh, God. The, the man. So, yeah, that didn't go well, as you can see by this gorilla's face. Uh, fuck. Why is this so difficult sometimes? All right, one big T-Rex and a bunch of compies. I feel like that might work. He might have the strength to deal with this. Oh, oh, damn. Okay, the compies. Uh, they're distracting him. Yes. Oh, you got to kill him. Stop it. I'll stop on his face. Oh, the hungry, hungry hippos are coming. Okay, they're dead. Oh, yes. Yes, rip them apart. Oh, I, th I think we did it, guys. I think we did it. The T-Rex was the answer in this one. This pyramid is aesthetically pleasing. Remove it with within one minute. Okay, I like these ones. These ones are fun. It's all about fast creatures with this one. So, uh, yeah, we can either do raptors. I mean, I guess we could use seagulls. Seagulls might actually work really well here. Let's, uh, let's go crazy with them and see if seagulls are MVPs against boxes as well. Uh... Okay, you know what? It makes sense. Seagulls just, they, 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 they can't do a lot of damage, so the boxes are going to last a while. But maybe they can take them down. All right, you guys only got 26 seconds left. I think I found the weakness to seagulls, but they are ripping through it. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. The seagulls are working together. Only 10 seconds left. I think they got it. I think they totally got it here. Wow, that was actually really close. 10 seconds left, and the seagulls did it. Oh, great. Now we gotta kill puppies, guys. This is gonna be great. Now, mind you, they are death-welding super puppies, so I I'm gonna be okay with it. I just feel so bad in this game because a lot of the animals are absolutely adorable, and we do have to kill them, unfortunately. So, man, there's only... Shit, we only got four of them? Okay, what will be good against these? Again, we need something that's fast. Uh, a copy would probably do really well here, so you know what? Let's just try it. Have a wave a literal wave of compies now we still got a thousand bucks left now can we actually we can attach gear to them so we'll do flamethrowers on a couple of them there we go that's all the money and i don't think they can answer this i oh god <laughs> okay uh yeah i think that went really well i mean strength in numbers right compies there we go. We got one left over here. He's being distracted. Here comes the wave of copies. Holy crap. It's actually really close. It's hard to tell. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, come on. Get him from behind. Oh, no. What the hell? Did they win? We got one copy left. Dude. Dude, did you get him? Who won again? Why are these games so close? We won with one copy left. That's amazing. Oh, my God. I'm being blown away with how close these fights are. All right, well, that actually went better than expected. So back to the drawing board. Let's move on to the King Penguin's army. The polar bears reported your misgivings. <laughs> now you must deal with the Arctic army. Oh God, we, I've already dealt with penguins. They're so hard to deal with. I actually forget how I uh, killed them. I'm trying to remember now. All right, King Penguin. We don't actually got much to uh, address this with in terms of money. So we do really got to be careful here. I don't want compies. I'm thinking again, maybe Staggy will be good. Let's try, let's try one mechanized Triceratops though. Uh, this is definitely not the answer, but you know what? It might work. You never know. Triceratops are very big. Here we go. Flame them up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you, you gotta get the king down because we're not gonna be able to get these little guys. Oh my God. 
Look at the Triceratops might have this. Come on, Tricy, you can do it. Oh, oh, right into the nuts of the king. Oh, the king's got you though. Wait, wait. <laughs> wow, riddle me surprised once again. Like this game, it just blows me away every time. I don't think that things are gonna work and they work, and I think things are gonna work and they don't work. That's generally how things work in this game. All right, well, Triceratops might be a really good unit. Now, now we know. Well, I guess we're in the big leagues now because we're playing some huge soccer. So there is three different size playing fields. This is probably the big one, hence the huge soccer reference and the Brachiosaurus in the distance. Yeah, we got some big competition here. So I'm thinking our max we can use is 50, but I'm thinking maybe the little guys might actually work here because these guys are big, but they're not very fast. So... Raptors! Lots of raptors. We'll do half the team of raptors. You need some big guys in the mix, though. You know staggies work good. I mean, I guess they're not technically that big. So, uh, we're gonna do some staggies to push that ball away. And let's do... I feel like Triceratops with their little push on the head can really fling balls. So, uh, we'll do some of those as well. Now, we still got lots of money, though. So, I feel like we need, uh, maybe like a T-Rex or something in the mix here. Maybe even two. How much is a T-Rex? I think it's just over... Yeah, it's 1.7k, so if we get rid of... Yeah, there we go, two T-Rexes. And then ending off the field with some compies, because I love compies. All right, so we got a lot of smaller dinosaurs against some of the bigger guys. The raptors, I feel like we'll be able to address the issue, and uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! That was beautiful! I gotta be honest, props to that, because that was amazing. All right, so let's try that again. This does, I feel like this is a good matchup though, because if they don't do some amazing shot like that, I got the speed, man. I got the upper hand on speed. We got lots of little fast guys here that can, that can get behind them just like they are now and run laps around them. So come on, oh, God damn it, you little bastards. All right, you guys I really wish you could aim a bit better because your advantage right now is the breakaways. We gotta, oh, God damn it. All right, it's going in. Come on, oh, that save though. Did you see that? All right, we still got some fast guys left, as you can see, but there is some death on the battlefield so far. I got, come on, Raptor, you, you gotta be a bit better at aiming this thing. There we go, there we go, come on, get it in. Yes, yes, I, thi I think we got it. No, what are you guys doing? You guys, you can't aim the ball, that's the problem. Your speed is great, but you gotta work on your ball control, seriously. All right, and we just got all these big guys just in a cluster fuck over here. There's dinosaur meat going everywhere. It's horrifying. And then raptors are just running around like dipshits with the ball and not actually helping out at all. Look at this little guy still alive. That's impressive, actually. Whoa, that dude, that was awesome. It went right to the camera. That, that almost looked intentional. And look at that amazing shot. That is amazing, dude. All right, so... Man, we really gotta pull this back if we want it. I feel like it can work, though. It's just the raptors are derpy. Oh, beautiful shot by the Raptors over there to bounce it off the enemy. All right, we just got to get one more goal to tie it up. This might be a close game after all. And another one by the little guys. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted you guys to do. That was the perfect strategy. All right, we got the final one. We can't let these big-headed bastards get that perfect shot off again because they are accurate as hell. Got a little bit of a tangle up over here. I love it. I, lo I love how derpy they look. Absolutely amazing. All right, Raptors, come on. Got to get that ball away from these other guys. Oh, T-Rexes. Oh, oh, this is so close. This is intense, man. Two to two right now. This is for the win. No. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, little Raptors. Get, get your butts in gear and get this thing back. Are all my Raptors dead or are they just way in the back? We got, we do got a pile up going on. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. And it's most of my team, unfortunately. Mind you, all of their team is pretty much in there, too. It's just just a total clusterfuck. I love it. All right, come on. Oh, unfortunately, the enemy's there. And, oh, the little guy didn't even see you. Yes. Look at who did it, after all. MVP right here. Oh, look at how happy he is. Dude, you did so well. Don't you love a happy ending when the little guy, the underdog, is the one that takes the win? That was amazing. Elephants on ice. How did these elephants reach the Arctic? 
beat them on this slippery terrain. Oh, this is going to be fun. So I'm thinking speed animals are not going to be the answer here because they're going to slide everywhere. So we need big, slow guys, actually similar to elephants. But you know what? Just for funsies, let's try it out with speed. So we're going to do raptors. Wow, you actually got a lot of money here. So uh, we'll gear them out with some flamethrowers as well. Uh, keep these guys rather cheap because they're not going to last very long. And oh my god, I got so much money. I mean, I guess we are fighting elephants, so let's do uh, some T-Rexes as well. Oh, I only got enough for one, but uh, yeah, that, that, that sounds like a good mix. And, of course, we need some copies as well. Have all the raptor types in one. There we go. Look, oh, <laughs> I thought they weren't moving because they were on ice. Oh, God, okay. Wow, they actually took down the elephants much quicker than I expected. What's going on over here? Uh, total clusterfuck, that's exactly what's going on. But... I think we did it. Okay, the elephants did win over here, but they are on fire, which is obviously a very bad thing. And look at all the dinosaurs coming in. Here comes the head honcho himself to win it off. That went fast. That went way fast. I didn't expect that to work as well, but that's becoming a common occurrence. All right, let's advance. I think we'll do one more for this episode and then leave the rest for the ending. All right, shotgun raptors. Raptors are cool. Raptors with shotguns are cooler. Look out, they'll kill you. You don't say. All right, so we, we only got 1,600 this time. Okay, so what I want, these guys are jumpers. They are very fast, so we want something big and defensive. So I, I, I keep going back to the club tails because they are so damn good, but I feel like we should try an animal out here. Uh, there's nothing really that really does that, though. A crocodile might be good. Let's try out the hippos. How about that? We haven't really used them too much, and they are a rather cheap unit, so... I feel like having strength in numbers will be good here, and let's do flamethrowers again, just because they're so much cheaper. All right, so we got a few flamethrowers and some hippos against the shotgun raptors. So here we go. Oh, oh man, those shotguns hit perfectly at that first shot, and it killed everything. <laughs> oh my god. We didn't, like, look at the line. They didn't last past that shotgun hit. That was crazy. Well, you don't want to get close to a shotgun, so I feel like pterodactyls are the answer then. So can we actually fly for once? Yes, we can. I don't know why sometimes they can't, but yes, these guys got very low HP. As long as we can stay out of that shotgun rain. Oh, this might be good. I don't know, though. It's hard to tell. Did the shotguns run out of ammo? Okay, so they do not seem to run out of ammo. Or they just stopped shooting for some reason for a second there. Uh, how many? Okay, this, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, there's one left against my pterodactyl. The pterodactyl takes him out. Holy crap, four pterodactyls did it. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Beast Battle Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, doing the vast majority of the challenges now. Uh, in terms of the next episode, again, we'll probably be finishing up these challenges. So we got the Rhino Rampage and the Laser Dinos to worry about in the next one, as well as five other secret levels that I do not know. So as always, guys, I just want to say thank you for watching and liking. If you are enjoying this, feel free to hit that like button. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying it and I can keep producing the content for you guys. Also, we are going to be going to the sandbox very, very soon, so if you have any suggestions for fights, put them in the comments below, and maybe you'll see them in the videos. So as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.